Welcome to our book summary channel. Today, we will be discussing The Personal MBA by Josh Kaufman, a comprehensive guide to the key concepts and skills needed to succeed in business. Kaufman covers a wide range of topics, from value creation to the legal environment, and provides practical tips and strategies for achieving success in business. Join us as we dive into the world of business and explore the insights and lessons that this book has to offer. Chapter 1 Value Creation In this chapter, Kaufman introduces the idea of value creation, which he defines as the process of creating something that is valuable to other people. He stresses the importance of understanding what people want and need in order to create something of value. Kaufman also discusses the concept of competitive advantage, which he defines as the unique combination of factors that make a business successful. He gives examples of companies like Apple and Zappos that have created a competitive advantage by focusing on things like design and customer service. Chapter 2. Marketing. Kaufman explains that marketing is the process of communicating the value of a product or service to potential customers. He emphasizes that marketing is not just advertising, but also includes things like branding, public relations, and customer service. Kaufman discusses the importance of understanding your target audience and tailoring your marketing message to their needs and desires. He also provides examples of companies like Coca-Cola and Starbucks that have created successful marketing campaigns by focusing on the emotional benefits of their products. Chapter 3, Sales. In this chapter, Kaufman discusses the importance of sales in the business world. He explains that sales is the process of persuading someone to take a specific action, such as buying a product or signing up for a service. Kaufman emphasizes that effective sales techniques involve building relationships with potential customers and understanding their needs and desires. He gives examples of successful salespeople who focus on building trust and adding value to their customers' lives. Chapter 4, Value Delivery. Kaufman explains that value delivery is the process of delivering the product or service to the customer. He stresses the importance of delivering a high-quality product or service and providing excellent customer service. Kaufman gives examples of companies like Amazon and Zappos that have created a competitive advantage by focusing on fast and reliable delivery and exceptional customer service. Chapter 5, Finance. In this chapter, Kaufman discusses the basics of finance, including accounting, cash flow, and financial statements. He explains that understanding finance is essential for running a successful business, as it allows you to make informed decisions about investments, pricing, and other financial matters. Kaufman provides examples of companies like Google and Microsoft that have used financial analysis to make strategic decisions. Chapter 6. The Human Mind. Kaufman explains the basics of psychology and how it applies to business. He discusses topics like motivation, decision-making, and behavior change. Kaufman emphasizes that understanding the human mind can help you create more effective marketing and sales techniques, as well as improve your relationships with employees and customers. He provides examples of companies like Facebook and LinkedIn that have used psychological principles to design products that appeal to users. Chapter 7. Working with Yourself. In this chapter, Kaufman focuses on personal productivity and self-management. He explains that managing your time and energy effectively is essential for achieving success in business. Kaufman provides tips for managing distractions, staying focused, and setting goals. He also emphasizes the importance of taking care of yourself, both physically and mentally, in order to be more productive and effective. Chapter 8. Working with Others Kaufman discusses the importance of teamwork and collaboration in business. He explains that effective communication, trust, and respect are essential for building successful teams. Kaufman provides tips for resolving conflicts and building strong relationships with employees, partners, and customers. He also gives examples of companies like Southwest Airlines and Whole Foods that have created a strong culture of teamwork and collaboration. Chapter 9. Understanding Systems. In this chapter, Kaufman explains the basics of systems thinking, which is the process of understanding how different parts of a system interact with each other. He discusses the importance of understanding the interdependencies within a system and how they affect the overall performance. Kaufman gives examples of how different systems can affect a business, such as supply chain management and inventory control. 
He also emphasizes the importance of identifying and managing bottlenecks within a system to improve efficiency and performance. Chapter 10. Analyzing Systems. In this chapter, Kaufman expands on the idea of systems thinking and discusses the process of analyzing a system. He provides a framework for analyzing systems, which includes understanding the inputs, processes, outputs, and feedback loops. Kaufman emphasizes the importance of identifying key performance indicators, KPIs, to measure the effectiveness of a system and make informed decisions about improving it. He gives examples of companies like Toyota and Amazon that have used systems thinking and analysis to improve their operations and gain a competitive advantage. Chapter 11, Improving Systems. Kaufman explains the process of improving systems, which involves identifying areas of improvement, testing solutions, and implementing changes. He emphasizes the importance of continuous improvement and the concept of Kaizen, which is the Japanese term for continuous improvement. Kaufman provides examples of companies like Walmart and Google that have used continuous improvement to improve their operations and create a culture of innovation. Chapter 12, Working with Numbers. In this chapter, Kaufman discusses the basics of quantitative analysis, which is the process of using numbers and data to make informed decisions. He explains the importance of understanding statistical concepts like correlation and regression and using tools like spreadsheets to analyze data. Kaufman provides examples of companies like Netflix and Amazon that use data analysis to personalize their offerings and improve customer satisfaction. Chapter 13, The Art of Negotiation. Kaufman discusses the art of negotiation, which involves the process of reaching an agreement with another party. He explains that effective negotiation involves understanding the other party's interests and finding a solution that meets both parties' needs. Kaufman provides tips for effective negotiation, such as building rapport, focusing on interests rather than positions, and being willing to walk away from a deal. He gives examples of successful negotiators like Warren Buffett and Herb Kelleher. Chapter 14, The Legal Environment. In this chapter, Kaufman discusses the legal environment of business, which includes laws and regulations that govern business activities. He emphasizes the importance of understanding legal issues like contracts, intellectual property, and employment law to protect your business and avoid legal disputes. Kaufman provides examples of companies like Google and Microsoft that have faced legal challenges and how they have addressed them. Chapter 15, The Future of Business. Kaufman discusses the future of business and how it is evolving. He emphasizes the importance of being adaptable and open to change, as technological advances and other factors can disrupt industries and create new opportunities. Kaufman provides examples of companies like Airbnb and Uber that have disrupted traditional industries and created new business models. He also discusses the importance of sustainability and social responsibility in business and how companies can create value while also benefiting society and the environment. Conclusion in The Personal MBA, Josh Kaufman provides a comprehensive overview of the key concepts and skills needed to succeed in business. From value creation to the legal environment, Kaufman covers a wide range of topics and provides examples of successful companies and entrepreneurs who have applied these concepts to achieve success. The book emphasizes the importance of continuous learning and improvement and provides practical tips and strategies for achieving success in business. If you like this summary then subscribe to my channel and if you want to purchase this book, check out the link given in description box. Also check out the new designs on our store for unisex t-shirt, hoodie, sweatshirt etc. I'll see you in the next book summary. Thanks for watching.